guys now I am going to uh, teleport using this chronicle I you can buy this in Draenor village and basically you can buy um, pages for it and it teleports you to the Champions Guild area it just saves some time it's kind of expensive but if you do some thieving and stuff like that it's not bad and there's another bush patch to rake for some farming gains bruh figuring this stuff out the easy way Oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? This is a level 22 skeleton. I don't know if I'll survive this. That's nice. Well, uh, this is gonna be interesting. All right, I got some run energy. We'll see how this goes. I can't say too much yet. I'm gonna probably get whacked. All right, we have these level, ooh, that actually, okay, that was so much easier than I thought, but whatever, let's dump these check-ins in here. I think I need to return these to Sandview now. Let me see. Uh, for the ritual, they need me to place in the Cauldron of Thunder. Huh, okay, so let me go bring that back to them. Nice, that was a lot easier um, than I thought. All right, I've unlocked the herb lore skill, and I think it gets you to level three herb lore. Very nice. I see an imp in the very corner over here, and I'm still trying to work on imp catcher, so I'm trying to kill these every time I see them, and we just got a magic level there. That's what's up. Um, uh, there's a couple things I'm wanting to get done before I go to Arduin or the other side of RuneScape, really, is, you know, like... Um, the Witch's Potion, some easy quests, I want to finish M Catcher, and there's a lot of things that I just feel like that are very simple that I can get done. Um, also, the Knight Sword, so hoping to get all of those done first before I head over there. Shouldn't be too hard. Damn it, a pot of flour. It is taking forever to get these beads. Alright, <clears throat> so since I'm in Falador, I thought I'd go ahead and get my first, uh, house it's four thousand coins and yes i do want my starter house so i've decided to build it and i don't need this construction guide uh this is pretty good because when i start winter taught i'm gonna do some solos and duos and i'm gonna get a ton of construction xp through that but of course that being said i need to start i had to buy a house first so that has been done i thought it was more expensive than a thousand gold coins so i'm happy all right guys, so um, I'm kind of like in the Remington area right now because I'm gonna start with Witch's Potion. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab some Snape Grass because Snape Grass is gonna be used for a hangover cure, um, which is used for, I believe, the Plague City quest. And that Plague City quest is gonna be needed to be completed for the, um, shoot, what's it called? The Arduin Easy di um, Diaries? So, uh, so Plague City has to be completed for Biohazard, and that Hangover Cure you use with Snape Grass, Chocolate Milk, I um, meant not Chocolate Milk, well, yeah, <laughs> Snape Grass, Chocolate Dust on a bucket of milk. So that's why I picked it up, and you can make that Hangover Cure before you start the quest, and since I'm on the correct side of RuneScape to get the Snape Grass, Chocolate, and the milk, I might as well just grab it since I'm over here, but yeah. Bro, I didn't know this, so I'm doing witch's potion. You cannot get a rat's tail from a giant rat. You have to get it from a small-ass rat. Why? They're both rats? I don't get it, but you can't get them from the giant rats. So, don't waste your time like I did. Just saying. Another thing a lot of people didn't know, the Eye of Newt, I believe, you can buy over here in this magic shop. It's been a while since I've done this quest but you don't have to go all the way to the druids up you know uh in taverly i believe there's a ruin shop over in this area and she sells eye of newts so you should be good in that department um but just in case y'all are like making an ultimate or or even a regular iron man you can just kind of go along with me in this but check this out 
pretty sure. Yeah, check it out. I Newt, and you can get a freaking wizard's hat, which, of course, we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to do blue because I'm... Oh, my gosh, bro. Check me out. If you want to look styling like me, I got these chaps and the blue wizard robe top from doing... Um, what's it called? Beginner clues? So I got some pretty good gear from that. Okay guys, so I got the onion from just north of Remington where you start the quest. Um, note to self, there's a range where you can cook this rat meat. You need burnt meat and if you have a high cooking level, well, I burnt it anyway. If you have a high cooking level, you may not burn the meat. So what you can do is you can just use the cooked meat, use it on the range and it will become burnt meat. You just have to use it twice on the range. A lot of people didn't know that so they were sitting there just cooking multiple meat. But yeah, we're going to turn this quest in now. I don't remember what this quest gives, but we'll find out. There's a, I would be nice. It would be magic XP or gold. Let's see. She puts them in the cauldron and it bubbles. And let's talk to her. Yes, I will. Drink the potion. Oh, just drink it. Yeah, you get 325 magic XP. So quests are so worth it. Check this out. I think I even got a level... 13 check it out and I can use fire strike fire strike is gonna be so useful for quests and like lava dragons if you're into that but me I am a chicken when it comes to the wilderness and I do not like real pecayers so you will not see me really in the wild but um yeah that's an option oh yes I got a red bead yes now I just need a black bead oh that took so long one more bead and I can turn this quest in and get that amulet of accuracy. Bro! Yes, I got the black bead. Yes, yes, yes. So I have finished finding the beads for Imp Catcher. Whole, or was that what's called? Imp Catcher? Yes. Yes, that took forever. That's going to also give me a lot of inventory space. So that would be nice. All right, guys. So I'm going to buy some feathers for fishing. For fishing. A feather pack is 200 coins and bait is 300 coins. So obviously I'm going to pick the cheaper route. So I want to just get a bunch of these and start getting into fishing so I can level my cooking. And that cooking level will allow me to go into the cooking guild and I can get a free chocolate bar there. It's only 32 cooking as a requirement. So might as well get it right. All right, guys, I'm going to turn in imp catcher stuff. Uh... Ooh, a cutscene. I forgot there was one. Oh, it looks so nice. Humana, 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 doing the voodoo. 875 magic XP. Oh, 16 magic. Oh my god, gains, bro. Gains. All right, for this amulet of accuracy. Oh, what the heck? I didn't mean to do that. I think it gives magic and range. Uh,. Yeah, it does. It gives magic and range bonus. It's so good, dude. So I'm going to wear that from now on. For, as of this amulet of ghost speak, I'm not sure what the heck I'm going to do with it. I'll probably just hold on to it, I guess. I guess you can always get a new one, but we'll just hold on to it for now. Bro, I'm legitimate stupid. I bought all those feathers to fish like salmon and trout, and I didn't buy a fishing rod. All right, guys, I got 15 mining. Uh, the reason why I did this is because Dork's quest for requires 15 mining and the Knight's sword requires 10 mining. So I was like, eh, might as well get that out of the way. It took about probably like 15 to 20 minutes. Wasn't too bad. I just got a thousand coins by doing a little quiz master thing. So always do those random events because sometimes they can give you some nice money, which is kind of needed at these lower levels. So they're good to do. Right now I'm getting cow hides and I know that's like, I should probably be doing other things, but there's actually a good reason. I'm wanting to get 10 crafting and the reason why I want to do that is because when I go over to the other side of RuneScape, like near Arduin and stuff, in Catherby and Camelot, there's going to be flax, and you need 10 crafting to make bowstring, and flax and bowstring is really convenient spot in Camelot, and you can get a lot of crafting XP there, so that's why I'm just trying to get to 10, and it's a good way to tra train range as well. Boom, 10 crafting. 
So that's good. I can now make bowstrings and crossbow strings. Very nice. That was what I was kind of looking for. Uh, I made some clay into these unfried uh, pan dishes, and now I'm frying them. Uh, I'm going to use a couple of these for the knight sword because the guy in that quest likes red berry pies, and I don't know where I would get a pie dish. Maybe Lumbridge? I'm not too sure. So I thought I would just craft some of these for the crafting XP and because I'll need a couple anyway. I say a couple because I think he needs two in the quest, and then, of course, you're likely to burn some, so you know how that goes. Okay, some people may not be aware of this, but if you help this Orlando Smith in the Verrock Museums, you can go through all these display cases and tell him basically what's in the display case. And after you're done with that, you get nine Slayer and nine Hunter. So it's some really good levels and I highly recommend it. Um, my bird is biting me. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, guys, so I'm just finishing this up. If you read the, pl what are they called? The uh, plaques. Basically, uh, and answer the questions, if you use a rune light third-party client, it will be in green, what you should, the correct answer is. Um, third-party clients, you should use at your own risk, though, and I'm not suggesting you use one. And make sure that if you do decide to use one, you know the rules and what's allowed on them and not. Uh, how are the... Oh. Oh, I thought I did all the display cases. What am I missing? Hmm. I have to go back and find out which one I didn't do. Okay, now that was all of them. I forgot to do the penguin one. But let me see. Boom, boom, boom. I'm glad I could help. Nice! 1,000 XP in each, which is super good. And now I'm 9 Slayer and 9 Hunter. Super easy, guys. Highly recommend you do that um, on your ultimate just because it's super nice um, and quick. All right, I made four red berry pies because um, I'm gonna get on the knight sword quest and I really hope I do not burn these. They require 10 cooking and I'm 24, so I hope it all goes well. I think you only need two for the quest, so honestly, I didn't burn any of them, so that's dope. 25 cooking, I can cook salmon and all that kind of stuff, so I didn't burn a single one, that's dope. We can drop the rest of this junk and we can go start out that quest so i found out you need to have 15 freaking smith in to smith iron bars and you need two iron bars for the knight sword even though i got the blurite ore so i think what i'm gonna do is go kill dwarves in the mine because they drop iron bars i'm not very sure but i got like all the supplies i need to turn in uh stuff for D dork's quest but that was a bummer because i got like through most of the quest and that happened but whatever just finished dork's quest um 1300 mining xp pretty good sorry i'm like checking out my screen on my other side when i'm mining did I get any levels? 19 mining. Holy cow. That's actually a hunk of chunk of mining levels, yo. But yeah, I think I'm going to go try to kill some dwarves. We'll see how this works. Ah, I don't know for sure. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of the Ultimate Adventure Episode 2. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I found a way to finish a knight's sword, so it'll be pretty easy. Uh, just got to Google some things, you know. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. And sorry for making this video a little bit on the long side. But we're getting some major gains, guys. See y'all next time. Bye, guys.